on the last episode of Dangan Ball Z. The legendary super salmon, Gonta, has arrived on planet Earth. And after a dreadful first encounter, Shoku and his best friend Grillin then enter the hyper nomadic time chamber in preparation for their rematch against this new threat. Now having fully perfected the Neo Aikido technique, passed down by their pervy master. The Z Warriors are about to clash with their strongest foe this season. But will they prevail, or is the Earth ultimately doomed? Stay tuned. The heck was that? Uh... I can't die yet. What? What the crud? Ah! Morning, sleepyhead. You're finally up, Shuichi. What the crud did you do to Gonta? Jesus Christ. Huh? What? This is the last thing I'd ever want to see. What do you? Me? Are you gonna ask who am I and? Where am I? As if I could ever forget you, God. Well, you're definitely Shuichi Saihara. And this place is... The ultimate entomologist lab, right? Hmm. I guess hell. <laughs> hell? Well, it explains why you're here, Oma. <laughs> I shook my head confused and looked around. Yeah, it's the lab again. Hmm. Is, yeah, this is... Th what, what the crud is going on? What? <gasps> you're awake. This is the Ultimate Anthemologist Research Lab. Huh? Uh, the Ultimate Anthemologist Research Lab? What? Yes, the Ultimate Anthemologist Research Lab. The Ultimate Anthemologist Research Lab. Hmm. But why? What? Ah, oh, I remember. I was attacked by Gonta. And then... That's correct. The same is true for the rest of us. Wait, he hit a Sumugi? No, Sumugi. We were all seized by Gonta and brought here. Um... But Shuichi's the only one who got knocked out. Well, that's good. Wait, no, uh, uh, going to apologize for that. Apparently he couldn't slow down in time when he tried to grab you. Why? Wh why did he gonna do this? What? Oh it's because of that guy. He was provoked by that guy. Let me guess. My eyes follow where Samugi was pointing, even though I literally already knew it was going to be Kokichi, because literally Kokichi is just here to make us all suffer. I swear to- <laughs> There's no use trying to escape. Gonta will catch you again. Uh, what the crud did you do? Samugi could have been hurt. God! Samugi, my queen, whose name I can barely ever pronounce. Did that court jester even lay a hand upon ye? Why did it have to be this room? It gives me the creeps. God dang it. Kokichi, what are you up to? You're up to something! I know it! Is this your doing, Kokichi? Did you have going to kidnap us? I mean, I don't even know why I'm asking. Like, uh, who else would do this? <laughs> He's so simple-minded. As soon as I told him that everyone who hates bugs was trying to get rid of them, he started crying and said that he had to get you guys little bugs. Or something like that. So that means... So, so you lied! And that's why we're all here! Welcome to the mandatory insect meet and greet. No, oh, Gonta thought up the name, so if you don't like it, voice your complaints to him. Terrible. You, you tricked Gonta. Right. Isn't it great? Only an evil supreme leader like me could do something so evil. Kokichi. Well, why are you doing this again? Ah. I thought we could throw ourselves a little screening party with all our videos. See? What? Huh? All you hear? Exchanging our motive videos wouldn't be that difficult at all! <laughs> and I want to see your videos too. So I figured we could all binge watch them together! Please, wait! D do you know what will happen if you do that? Um... Everyone will know their motive? And a killing will be more likely to happen. But... But I like playing on a mean difficulty. Also, I don't run for battles in RPGs either. You sick freak, Kokichi. What is wrong with you? I want to win this killing game, so I'm not going to run from it. I'm going to crush it. So That'll be way less boring, don't you think? Huh? 
you got you got problems, bro. Like, how boring is it to fight every like level one goblin you run into? But the heck does that mean? See? What? I tried to warn you guys. I told you that we shouldn't cooperate with each other. <laughs> Puss, if I'm gonna do this, then I gotta enjoy myself and just go all the way. If the thought of playing a death game doesn't excite you, you'll never win. Understand? Strangely, I could d detect no evil in his smile as he said that. Uh, it was an innocent smile like a frolicking child. Although perhaps it's just another lie. It could just be a mask he's wearing, you know, like, ugh. you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, hey. hi, Gonta. Thank you for waiting. Gonta bring Himiko and Angie. Hey. Himiko and Angie, too? Aww. I was about to take a break, too. I just finished all the prep work. <laughs> Why does that sound so scary? Uh, That's the meaning of this. Himiko. Are you okay? My saliva makes injuries heal faster. I swear. Uh, does your face hurt? Do you want me to spit on your face and make it feel better? Tenko, that is... That is not... You can't be saying stuff like... Who's more perverted? You or me, you god. Make up your mind. No means no, pervert. Hey, Gonta. Are these the only ones you brought back from the gym? Kurumi at gym. But she told Gonta she too busy. <laughs> That's all he had to say to get him to leave you alone. And, and you just let her go? Atua, has Atua says Kurumi fulfills any request. Some mix of her. Like a mommy. Hey. She, she's not a mom. I mean, I'm, she's not a mom, though. At least I don't think she is. W wait, what? Requ uh... What? I requested that she sew the curtains. I don't think even Gonta can disturb her. Sorry. Not even Gonta strong enough to overcome Kurumi. Mm. What? You're she's stronger than you? Well, I guess at least one of you is worthy being called an ultimate. By the way, well, nothing we can do about her. Are the others still hiding somewhere? Um. Gonta see Miyu, but Gonta's face get red hot. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. Uh, so Gonta no could bring her. Your your face got hot. You mean you were hot on her tails, right? No. Uh, she used her... what she call it? Secret woman weapon, and then... But... Anyway, this enough people, right? Insect meet and greet is off to smashing start. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, whatever. Uh, this is good enough. We should move on to the main event anyway. Gonta, <laughs> don't be deceived. He's just used you to abduct us all. <gasps> Uh, really? <laughs> I love Gota so much. Uh -uh. No, no, come on, what are you saying? Why do you gotta be lying, Thug Moogie? This is for the insect meet and greet. I like bugs even more than you do, Gonta. <gasps> more than Gonta? Amazing. You like bugs that much? Oh, oh yeah, you know, <laughs> all my best friends back home are bugs. You know, I have a couple bugs of my own. They're... They bug me. <laughs> I'm not as good a liar as uh, Kokichi. Uh, or an improv. It would appear further argument is a useless endeavor. Hey, now Gonta, go ahead and teach them just how wonderful bugs are. I gotta run and uh, Aaron, but I'll be back. Don't leave them, okay? All right. If they try to leave, it means you gotta really show them why bugs are so great. Mm hmm. Got it. Could it be? This is gonna end really badly. Wait, you're leaving? Yeah. Of course. Someone's gotta break into the room to get the goods. <laughs> Mock picking is a cinch for an ultimate supreme leader like me. Uh... What? what uh, why did my brain instantly think when you said, oh, I gotta nap some goods? He was gonna go into Sue's bedroom. I don't. Ugh, anyway. You going to enter a girl's room without permission? <laughs> Uh, it seems I must be the one to take care of this. With my talent, Kokichi, You're I will stop. So yeah, yeah, I don't have time to listen to dumb robots. So, let's see. It's exactly 9 p.m. right now. Uh, I should be back by nighttime. Well, have fun with the bugs till then. You get back here. God. Uh, Kokichi then left the classroom. Uh, <laughs> it appears we are caught in Kokichi's trap. Like a fly in a spider's web. Kyo, chill, chill. 
What should we do with this rate? It'll end up as a motive video screening party. Uh... Neo Aikido is no match for going to superhuman strength either. Everyone. We'll have a chance when Kokichi comes back. That's when I'll take care of this. Everyone, please just endure it till then. Uh... Okay, Kibo, I believe in you. Huh? Endure it? What? What's it? Everyone, play nice. Now we start the fun, fun insect meet and greet. Okay, I'm down. Maybe I'm not, actually. When I had first woken up, Kokichi told me this was hell. It appears that wasn't a lie. <laughs> what is gonna happen? Oh, God! The incredible specimens each gave off the appearance of vigor and vitality. <laughs> He's just like, awaken, my masters. This swarm of insects. <laughs> they were exactly as vigorous as they looked. With our escape route blocked off, all we could do was run around the room and panic. <laughs> oh my god, Samugi! Ah! Um, is that good news or bad news? Hopefully good... Uh, how are we watching this while dodging all the insects? Like, <laughs> the nighttime announcement played, but it didn't save us. No! Oh my... Ew! The insect meet and greet continued without mercy. What happened, Kokichi? You said you'd be back by nighttime. He <laughs> freaking lied! Yeah. Is being buried alive by insects. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. She's just like, mm -hmm. in life, no. Himiko, hold on. The more you yell, the more bugs can get into your mouth. <laughs> oh, God, no. Uh, just use some mouthwash. Uh, I get, oh, God. Finally, when our bodies were completely exhausted and sleep was nearly upon us. Oh, uh, God, that's such a gross transition. I don't even mind bugs that much, but that is <sighs> too much. He finally came back. Hey. Ugh. There are bugs everywhere. How n I, I mean, how nice that bugs are in every corner of the room. Yeah. Oh, come back, Kokichi. Come, we have fun. <laughs> He's like, I'm just going to sit next to the door. No, 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 no I insist. I know you like like a prey mantis, man. Ah, uh, nice. we're gonna have so much fun! You know, as I love to do that, maybe we should call it a day, huh? See? The bugs look really tired, and, and a gentleman knows to do things in moderation, you know? <laughs> right. Oh, going to understand. Hey. So you clean up while I, uh, take care of business with the others? Kokichi's hands were full of several cub pads. God, no! He succeeded! At least he didn't go in Samugi's room and take her unmentionable. Uh, Kibo, like, didn't you say you're gonna fight back or something? Everyone! Thank you for enduring it, everyone. This is the last chance. Please leave the rest away uh, to me, okay? I believe. I realize Shuichi and Kibo's voices are the same. I, uh, I'll try to think of one better, but I don't want him to be like, I am Kibo. Because he doesn't talk like that, you know? He's a pretty advanced robot. Samugi. Just hanging there. It's <laughs> my favorite. Who is our voice actress? It sounds so familiar, though. I don't know from where, but... So I really did get the cup pads. Hopefully he didn't take anything else. He does seem like the type. So, Angie... I know I shouldn't like talk to everybody, because, you know, we got to get the story going, but, you know, I'm curious. And What a divine time. You enjoyed that? What? My island is full of creepy crawlers. This many bugs doesn't bug me. That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> uh, how'd you endure it, Tenko? Oh God, she's traumatized. Uh, no. I'm I'm still okay. Uh, as a disciple of Neo Aikido, it'll take more than this to break my composure. Hey, hey Tenko, there's a big old bug on your back. <laughs> ah! Wait, C calm down, Tenko. I frantically swatted the bug off of her. Oh my God, he wasn't even lying. What? Aww. Tenko, it's gonna be okay. Don't touch. Don't 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 touch. Ever. No. I, I, okay, it, it's okay. There are bugs everywhere. It's no wonder you. Male. I don't need help from some male. <laughs> Clearly, I haven't trained enough. Uh, as soon as I escape from this place, I'll return to master and resume my training. Well, if you're already the ultimate, I guess you're. Eh, whatever. <sighs> Kokichi. Now what? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> you all look like drowned sewer rats. <laughs> it's late. You said you'd be back by nighttime. But it's already 11 p.m. now. My bad. Sorry. I ran into an unexpected snafu. But... But look! <laughs> Cup pads! Gotta catch them all! I even got the pads belong to the people who aren't here. 
Now everyone can watch their Moda video. Oh my. We said we don't want to. How exciting! Well, it's late and I'm getting sleepy. So, let's start already. Hey. Uh, start what? Well, you know. Oh, don't worry about it, Gonta. Just keep watch so these guys don't. That's, enough. That's it. I won't let you do as you please. Uh, huh? I, also... I didn't want to use this unless I absolutely had to. It eats up a lot of my electricity. But that's it. neither here nor there. I will stop you right here, right now! Huh? Uh, Kibo, what are you gonna do? Oh, oh, oh my god, what the. <laughs> Is he gonna activate a railgun? Like, still glaring at Kokichi, Kibo slowly reached a hand behind his ear. Wait, what? And spun the mechanical parts there. Up? Is he gonna self destruct or. I don't know what he's gonna do, crud. Huh? What's that sound? One moment, please. I'm rewinding the tape right now. Oh, I thought he was gonna like transform. The tape? Right there. Wait, what the? Kibo looks awesome. Holy. Cr okay, Kibo shouted and pushed his palm against his hair. That's when. Is this your doing, Kokichi? Did you have Gonta kidnap us? Is that my voice? <laughs> He's so simple-minded. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. As soon as I told him that everyone who hates bugs was trying to get rid of them, he started crying and said that he would get you guys to love bugs. Or something like that. Could this be... God dang. You got got, Kokichi. How about this? So what do you think? Just saw my audio recording function for the first time. My man, Kibo, dude! Did, did, did he really just whip out an audio recorder? Like it's some kind of secret weapon? Actually, well, it's pretty handy. It's a cassette tape. In this day and age? Uh, it, it's metal tape, you know, but it, it, it's not the most advanced. I'm not complaining, shoot. The sound quality isn't the issue. Let's just put that aside for now. More importantly, it seems to have worked. Kokichi, what you mean? You know like bugs! Man, now it's boring. You say when we get them to understand how amazing bugs are, was that lie? <laughs> I wouldn't lie to you! I love bugs! Come on, from the bottom of my heart! All right. So is not a lie. Then go to happy. Let's have fun with bugs all night! Hey, bugs! Who wants to pet more bugs? Uh, oh, God, no, please, Jesus. We must run away while we still can. <gasps> we need to take back our cup pads first. Kenko snatched the cup pads from Kokichi. It was really, really easy, because, I mean, he's literally 100 pounds. How is he this big of a menace? Oh. I can't... <laughs> Did you just go oof? <laughs> <laughs> then we all ran out of the lab. Okay. Kokichi's just the meme, man. I'll... I love to hate him, I guess, but he Anyway, after leaving the room, I could still hear the muffled buzzing and Kokichi screaming. <laughs> ah! He might be corpse. He might be corpses by tomorrow morning. And we might be corpses by tomorrow morning. What, wait, what? It's plain to see. Don't joke about that. What if it happens? It's just plain possible. Um, so how do we return these cup pads back to their rightful owners? Geez. If only the mono cups were here. I'm sure they'd help us. Uh... Oh, hey, it's Tim! What up, buddy? You seem like you're on our team anyway. Uh, it's you! The others are asleep. If you need something, I can handle that. Uh, um, it's about the cup pads. Kokichi brought them to us, and... I simply need to return them. I will return each to your respective rooms, you... Jerks. Got it. Wait, no, that's not good. That That's bad. Oh, my. Oh. So in the end, Kokichi kind of got what he wanted. Uh, he left. Well, that was erupt. But out of uh, But out of all of them, we could probably trust that one, right? Well, then. Really too early to say, but shall we go back to our dorms? It is well past nighttime. <laughs> that is true. We have a magic show tomorrow. Wait, what? A mat? Because of all of this, we couldn't do a rehearsal. But I'm sure it'll be a divine show. Yeah. We'll be waiting for you to come watch. Hmm. Okay. 
leading she says it's team you can shoot not yours you stick with stick. well i don't even know what she likes you like you're not you... i suppose it's all right okay let's break up the drama between you two yeah i just remembered i wasn't able to train with kaito today oh he's probably <laughs> he's probably doing push-ups in, in a puddle of his own tears all right kaito momoto stood up <laughs> too bad can't do it we can do it tomorrow night though Phrasing, Shoichi. Phrasing. It's not like I'll never see him again or anything. Why did you... Yet again, phrasing. Do not scare me like that. What the... Worn out from all the commotion, we dragged ourselves back to our rooms. Okay. Hmm. It's close to midnight. Tomorrow's a busy day. I should get some sleep. Why is tomorrow a busy day? What? I collapsed onto the bed and quickly fell asleep. We're gonna have another one of those weird dreams. I'm not sure. Wait. I actually don't know what movie reference this is, because I have not viewed a lot of well, no, nah, that's not actually true. I've seen a lot of black and white movies, but I need a miracle! You pray, right? While you're working, living, and gambling! But miracles happen every day! For example, do you know that the odds of the Earth existing are the same as a tornado blowing through a junkyard and assembling a working car? That's a miracle! That's why us being alive on Earth is a miracle! Except we're actually on Mars in this game. I'm calling it. Okay. That joke was never funny. I'm so sorry. All kinds of miracles happen every day. Life is made up of little miracles. But whenever a miracle does happen, it just gets chalked up as fate or destiny or whatever. But grateful for the miracles that already happened instead of happening for new... Or, uh, for hoping for new ones, yeah. If you do that, you should be able to enjoy miracles, right? Um... <laughs> Sadly, it doesn't, it doesn't really work like that, but... It, I get what your proverb is, or whatever. Uh, what's up with you guys? Oh, there's even less. Rise what? Shine or shine. Where's, where's Mononosuke? Or, oh! 8 a.m. These god dang bears! Jesus, that that actually scared me! Why am I such a uh This This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It's 8 a.m., so wake up, you tuds! Hey! Ah. Oh, he left my Modern Nosuke's so impatient. He's been cranky lately, so it's making him impatient. I don't like impatient men. Isn't he your brother? What the fuck? I want to get along with Mononosuke and not murder him. Right. It's a little early, but I'll go ahead and do the nighttime announcement too. And that's that. <laughs> It'll be 10 p.m. later. You can count on that. It's too early. Your patience is trying to warp time and space, dude. That's not cool. Okay, bye bye. Okay, those characters are warm. They're getting funnier and funnier. <laughs> Today's the day of Himiko's magic show. The insight fiasco yesterday, now this? Do we really have time to be doing this stuff? The crowd else we gonna do, Shoichi? Well, Come on! I suppose I shouldn't think about it so much. I'll just go to the gym for now. Uh, Alright, sounds good to me. Crud. I'm sorry, uh, we'll, we'll pi apologize to Kaito later. I mean, it's not like we even agreed, do we? He kind of forced us to, but personally, I don't know. It's better than just doing nothing. Hanging out and training it, like, you know, work. I don't know. Some of my most favorite times at the gym were late at night where I'm just talking to my friends. I mean, we're not really working out. Like, it's not something you should do all the time in my eyes because, I don't know, working out needs to be your own personal journey. Well, I'm not going to lecture you guys. I'm working out for the ninth LP in a row. Stinking, uh... But, like, you know, that that was always a fun activity for me and my boys, you know? It was nice. Samugi. Also, what up, Samugi? Uh, looking nice to... Oh, she looks so sad, actually. Uh, Are you okay? Uh, hey, you look a bit sick. Oh, Shoichi is sick. <laughs> uh, I could walk you to the infirmary that we totally don't have built yet. Uh, it's just the sounds of those bugs buzzing in my head. Even after I went to bed, I just kept hearing it. So I didn't get that much sleep. Aw, that must have been rough. Gonto would be sad to hear it, but I like bugs even less now. I think that's perfectly understandable. Uh... I'm glad there aren't any bugs outside of Gonta's lab. Oh wait, uh, are, are it there? Uh, uh, well, Gonta said they. We thought he saw a really tiny bug once, yeah. but no, yeah, I did say that. But 
But even with going to 20, 0 0.625 vision, he could only barely see it, right? I doubt that thing was a bug, dude. Maybe it's something else. So isn't it possible he, he was just plain mistaken? No. Actually, I really hope he was mistaken. Oh, I'm so over bugs. I'm just going to forget last night and enjoy the magic show. Right. Uh, yeah. Oh, right. The show's in the gym. I'm going to go on ahead. I mean, we could walk together if you... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> God dang it. Anyway, yeah. Uh, why do I get the feeling? This is really dumb. But I get the feeling like there's always someone like directly behind me every time I'm talking to, like I'm being watched. It's really weird, but only when I'm talking to Sue. And weird crap happens too. Like my sick and every time I, I talk to her, my controller starts acting weird. I can't really freaking explain that over. Like you can't witness it. But I experience it because I'm mashing A and I'm like, what the crud? It's not actually advancing. It's weird. Anyway, Kibo, you're pretty cool back there. Kibo. Gotta say. Hey, yes. good morning. Good morning, Shuichi. How are you feeling today? Are you still sore from the events of last night? Okay. I'm fine. <laughs> are you all right? 100%. I'm fine. I've recharged the electricity that I've used on my recording function. <laughs> How can that eat up that much? I don't know nothing about robots, but, you know. Uh... Even so. I'm very happy that I finally was able to use my function to help everyone. <laughs> yeah, we're happy too. Holy crud. Kibo's recording function is not exactly revolutionary technology, but it did help a lot. Thank you. Thank you, Kibo. You really earned your title of Ultimate Robot. Well, of course. Mm, it was nothing really. If you ever need my help for anything, please don't hesitate to ask. <laughs> yeah, I sure will. <laughs> um. So the magic show's starting soon, yes? Everyone's probably gathered in the gym. You should get going as well. Uh, yeah, I agree. Huh. I wonder what the magic show is even a goddamn be like. I don't... I mean, I got no... I, I legitimately have nothing against Himiko. Like, I know, like, I had my little, like, thing of, like, Ew, stinking, they have a girl that looks like a 14-year-old. But, like, that's just how, like, high school will be, dog. Some of us are late bloomers. Like, real talk. But, like, I think I was just using my bias from another younger looking character from the last game and projecting that. But she is not like that and I'm happy. So I need to stop being so biased, I guess. Hello, Kurumi. How is your morning? Good morning. Good morning. Everyone has already gathered for the show. Is that right? I suppose everyone's looking forward to it. Miu seems particularly excited. Her eyes were lit up like a child's. Really? Huh? She's that excited? I'd be lying if I wasn't excited, too. Why her in particular, though? That's interesting. By the way, it would seem that some outrageous events transpired last night. Oh, yeah. We don't talk about that no more. <laughs> yeah, Kokichi tried your trick going to going along with his Moda video screening plan. But thanks to Kibo, we put a stop to it. It's okay. I see. So Kokichi truly does intend to oppose us. Please, go ahead. I'm not sure if he does or not. I... He's so weak. He's like back and forth, man. No matter. Let's go inside. Everyone is waiting. Uh, okay. Let's go for it, I guess. Uh. God dang it, Angie. Don't do anything weird, please. I just... Oh, my God. I don't want to, like, keep disliking her, but... She's sketchy. All right. That's all I'm going to say about it. Uh, wait, what the... Cr What's up with all those god dang fish? This is even nicer than I thought it would be. Wow, yeah, it's Yahoo! pretty, like, crazy. Welcome to our magic show. What do you think? Isn't it divine? Okay. Uh, yeah, it is, like, legit. Like, what the crud? I didn't think you would have a real stage set up. Did you and Himiko do all this? No, no. This would have been impossible with just two people. I got others to help us. Kaito and Kibo helped carry equipment from Himiko's research lab. I designed the stage, but Kurumi sold the curtains. Thanks, Everyone is so nice. A tour deserves all the credit. <sighs> anyway. No. Uh, shouldn't everyone who worked on it get the credit? Oh. Uh, well, I didn't ask you to help because I didn't know what you'd be useful for it. So, uh, yeah. That's... Did you really have to say that? God, uh, what is up with you? I uh, don't know, I don't know. Anyway, just sit tight. Once we're done preparing, we'll start right away. Huh? Done preparing? You're not 
Ready yet? What? Uh, yep. The star of the show needs to settle her nerves. Aw. The star of the show requires mental prep, I guess. Aw. Himiko, you're gonna do fun. Jesus! It's a stop! Chill! Jesus! <laughs> She's shaking like a leaf. Oh, it's gonna be okay, Himiko. We're we're not judgmental people. Okay, some of us god dang definitely are, but I ain't. It's, do we even talk to her in this situation? That might make her more nervous. I don't know. Let's just go for it. Are, are you a bit nervous? Uh, it certainly doesn't look just a little bit. God, poor thing. The magic I'll be performing today is extreme water magic underwater escape. Totally not a magic trick, I promise. i never successfully cast it before. It's pretty difficult, so I'm a little nervous. Huh? You've never cast it before? Mm. Today, in order to raise the stakes, uh, there's a time limit. Okay. If I don't escape from the tank within the time limit, piranhas will be draw. Piranhas? Himiko! I'll be pure. Puri? Per, 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 oh my god. Why can I not read? God! Uh, this is a lo looking a little dangerous. No, Himiko, you don't have to do this for our entertainment. I, I don't want you to die. Like, what? The water's cloudy, so I couldn't even see very clearly, but I do see swimming fish around. I didn't know they're freaking piranhas. Though. How do we even get piranhas? What the do? These are all piranhas? They don't look like normal piranhas. Did Miu invent some, like, fake fish? Like, those piranhas were in my research lab. Angie said we should use them for the show. Uh, no. But piranhas are too dangerous. Yeah, listen to your mom, Himiko, or whatever oh. she is. I don't wanna, does that make me the dad? No, uh, Himiko. Himiko, please reconsider. They're piranhas. They're nothing like lasagna. Sorry, I, I think I just had a brain aneurysm because I was so ra uh, with my magic. No need to worry. I'll instantly kill the piranhas with my magic. Unless I miss or I'm out of mana or I don't have the proper reagents to cast the spell or... Uh -huh. you're, you're gonna kill them? I thought this was an escape trick. What? Um... Himiko. <laughs> Are you serious? As a heart attack? Don't say that right now. <laughs> There's no way I can stop now. Since the two is watching the show and all. No! Mm, Angie, I am very unhappy with you right now. No. There's no such thing as a Tua. Angie was brainwashed you! What was that? You don't believe in my magic? Of course I believe in your magic, baby. I'm just, I'm just saying, you know. I, I feel like, I feel like I just, we should remove ourselves from this conversation. It's getting a little, uh. I can't do it. I can do it. I can't. No, I can't. I can't. No, I, yes, I can't. I'm a skilled young girl because I'm a mage. Well, she disappeared like one. What? She psyched herself up and headed straight to the water tank. Tanko's like, my precious um, f mutual friend. Uh, of course I believe in your magic. You're my precious friend. Oh, my God. Tanko. I'm worried about her too. I don't even know her like that. Neither do you. The what? Whatever. Uh, just please, nothing bad happened to her. God dang it. Yoo-hoo! Ready, Himiko? Did you say your prayers and use the bathroom? You can't go to heaven on a full bladder. Yeah. I said my prayers and went pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> then let's get the show started. This is screwed up. It's starting already, but not everyone's here yet. Maki, Kokichi, Ryoma, and Kaito aren't he- I don't like- I don't like this, dude. This is weird. What happened to Kaito? I thought he'd be here for sh- <sighs> I wonder if something happened. Jesus- Oh no! This is- What the dumb- Thank you, Atua, for being with us today. That's how you say it? Atua? What? Boo! Boo! You're supposed to thank us first! <laughs> I present to you the mysterious, the miraculous, the amazing Himiko! <laughs> the, the, the magic I will perform today is the extreme water magic. Woohoo! You go, girl! Yeah! Uh, underwater 
Escape back. Please don't die. Please don't die. She's gonna die, dude. I swear to- If you would please turn your attention to the water tank in front of you. No. <laughs> when the timer above the stage starts, Himiko will enter the water tank. Once she's in the tank, her assistant, me, will draw the curtain in front of the tank. After 60 seconds have passed on the timer, a separate suspended tank will open and drop in a school of piranhas. Oh my goodness. Voice actors is so hot. God. After the piranhas have fallen and the curtain is opened, if by some miracle Himiko has been gobbled up, please give a big round of applause. I'm not going to applaud for that, you sicko. God. Himiko's like, wait, what? Uh, Just uh, kidding. It's a joke. Ha uh ha. -huh. Maybe it's the sad music, but this is what the crud. I'm concerned about Himiko. She is not responding properly to Angie's jokes. Going to worry. Going to have bad feeling. Atua, please protect Himi. No, not you. No. What, what am I doing? Praying to Atua. That's Angie's stick. Uh, well, I guess you could pray to some other god. Like Odin. Or Beelzebub. No, he's a demon. Uh, Huh. Whatever. Well then, let's begin. The amazing Himiko's magic show. Woohoo, yeah! In her typical high-pitched voice, Himiko made her announcement and started the timer. Then she took a breath and dove into the water tank. Uh. <laughs> God. Okay, I'm closing the curtain! She closed the curtain, obscuring the water tank from view. We started silently waiting. I clenched my fist nervously, my palms damp with sweat. Miko is still not out! Uh, she went in mere moments ago. Still? No! Well, do you think she's alright? Jesus Christ. Uh, Gonta's starting to worry. Should we do something? Oh my god. She, she still hasn't come out! Are you sure she's okay? God, get her out! Gonta can't take it anymore! Jesus Christ! Gonta cried out, leaped out of his seat, and... Wait, Gonta? Uh, ran onto the stage! Gonta, please save her. Jesus. Oh, you can't do that! We're still in the middle of the show! Angie, shush! But, but if Gonta does nothing, piranhas will eat Himiko! Huh? Um, less than ten seconds remain. She go! What I the... don't care if it ruins the trick. Just come out! This dress is bad for my heart. Yeah, it's gonna be bad for her everything, because she's gonna die. What? God dang it. <gasps> right when the timer hit zero, the buzzer went off. And then... No! The bottom of the suspended tank swung open, and the murky waters and shadowy shapes inside fell straight into the water Himiko was swimming in. Huh? Huh? Oh, no. Look! The piranhas! Oh my god. H hurry! The curtains! Open the curtains already! Got it! I'm opening it now! When Angie pulled apart the curtains, we witnessed an unbelievable sight. Angie, what the? What were you thinking? What? What the crud? What the heck? That's... I can't believe you. God dang it, dude. It took moments for... What? He was getting better, God! Why?! I need a second. It took a moment for us to even process it. But then again, perhaps we weren't trying to process it. Perhaps we didn't want to acknowledge it. Were you almost dead? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Great, huh? Behold, the magnificent underwater escape. Oh my god. Did I do something bad? Jesus. Please tell me. <laughs> A body has been discovered! Yeah. Everyone. Please gather in the gym. What the crap?
crud. Nah. A body in the gym? Then Himiko turned around, looked back at the water tank. Jesus. Nah. <laughs> she can't even. Dude, what the. How did this happen? This is. What the. Oh my god, dude. She's gonna go into like shock. Maybe she's the one that. Nah, come on. A thin line divides heaven and hell. Heaven and hell. Oh my. This is a lot of evidence against Angie straight off the bat. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like, I'm, I'm clearly biased here. I won't deny that. But, like, whose idea with this? For the second time at the Ultimate Academy, a body discovery announcement sounded out. Those who weren't present at the magic show heard it and came running. Man, things were just starting to get fun. What the heck is going on? I don't know. I don't know what happened. Oh my god. We should break the tank, right? We gotta check what's inside. What? But, but break it? Yeah. Yeah, break it. It'll take too long to drain it by hand. Huh? But, but that, that, what would we even use to break? What? Hey. Contact, key boy! You're up! Huh? Uh, what do you mean, we're up? You're so Going to throw Kibo as hard as you can. Use the robot like a battering ram. Stop! No! Mock me. What? Who are you calling a battering ram? If anything, I'm... Uh... Shut up! Going to throw Kibo. Understand? <laughs> then I'll help too. No, Please stop! wait! Uh, the, the water's gonna hit his circuits! Chill! Just wait a second. You don't need to team up now. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so robophobic. You God dang it. Uh The sound was intense. A wall of piranhas and water dyed red with blood rushed out. We watched helplessly as the area flooded with water. In some deliberation, we decided to start cleaning everything up. However, I made sure not to disturb the scene before. More than necessary, yeah. When Kurumi's expertise, we were able to clean up enough to start the investigation. Holy crud, bro. How could, um, he, how could he get into that thing? What the? I've gathered Ryoma's body and belongings in one place. <sighs> Dude, how can you smile right now? Ah. Kibo's looks depressed. He was just used as a battered ram, so I understand why. Just, he has been reduced to such. That he can be carried in one hand. Now fleeting and fragile life is. Kyo, now's not the. Shut it. Going to put piranhas in bucket. Piranhas all got big tummies. Going to think they're full. Ew. Now you were almost fish food, and tomorrow we'll be. He'll be fish. Crap. Oh don't say such things. I think that's just. Yeah, don't chill, okay? Uh, Poor Himiko. I don't want to suspect her. What the heck, Angie? Himiko, are you okay? This wasn't an accident, was it? Does this mean the killing game started again? Looks that way. How could this happen? We swore to each other, didn't we? We swore we'd never let the killing game start up again. Why? So that was all just a lie? You guys are liars! Oh, you liars, apologize to Ryoma. Can't believe the killing wouldn't happen anymore! Unacceptable. Your disingenuous tears. Mark you as a liar right now. <gasps> you figured it out? You got a pretty good eye there, Kyo. What did you. What? <sighs> What's wrong with you? What? Hey guys! Um, how's it feel now that you've got a second murder victim on your hands? Eh? Well, you're almost transparent. Has my x-ray vision superpower finally awakened? That's what the left eye is for. <laughs> uh, and here comes the peanut gallery, I guess. Get in here. All right, what, what do you got to say? <gasps> Father, you don't have superpowers. We've just been reduced to a skeleton. Right. Finally. I've been waiting for the killing game to start up again. That means we can put all this bone crap on hold and stop playing the blame game. Nice. You're raring to go, Mono. Uh, it, who are you again? <laughs> you forgot his own son? You should at least remember your old kid's name! Ah. What, what's, wrong, what's wrong, Mono Fanny? Uh, Mono Fanny, are you okay? Five, four... Hmm? Uh, are, 
Are you counting, Mono Fanny? Why are you counting? It's really obvious why she's counting. Oh. Guess three, I'm seriously getting a two, I'm gonna pick. <laughs> Ew. Ah. She puked again. You stupid. What are you doing, you failure? Dumbass. Listen up. I'm here to make sure the killing goes smoothly, capiche? Yes. Also, to make, keep me company. <gasps> New mascot presents lots of exciting business options. Yes. Shut up, you failure. Dang it. Me too. <laughs> you Maybe my game sold more. My family would love me. Uh, hey, hey. This conversation is fun and all, but we should really get this over with. Don't we need to start the investigating or something? All right. I'll get the culprit this time for sure. Hurry up and give us the thingy. Okay. Give me the monokuma file. Yeah. I also investigated the cause of death this time. So ready your hearts to light. We don't need to. No, it's not true, actually. We do need to know the cause of death. Pass. We're not sure if the piranhas did it or not. He could have died beforehand. Sort of unrelated, but I got a great business idea. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's totally unrelated, but I'm listening. Got it. Let's use the Monokuma file to start a funeral service business. You know how it gets all awkward at funerals when you start asking, oh, how about the cause of death? And that's that. We pass out Monokuma files, even the worst deaths will get a giggle out of the attendees. Well. Pops, what do you think? He doesn't even listen. He just sees them as marketing. Like, <laughs> objects, jeez. Uh, uh, cute? What? The way, oh my god. The way you pass out the files is just so cute. Why don't you come with me over here? What? Bob's is gonna lick me all over, no! Uh, yeah, we don't, we don't need to see that again. Oh my god. Father's showing Mononosuke with all his love. You think maybe... Mononosuke's right. Maybe Father doesn't like us anymore because we're not hostile and threatening enough. Yeah, all you guys do is puke and eat, like, chicken bowls. Like, uh... Um, I think maybe I'll follow Mononosuke. Monodom just sits there, I I guess. Uh, so, so depressed, Jesus. Now I feel bad for making fun of them. Uh, and yet I keep still making fun of everyone else. Hmm. In any event, let us begin the investigation. But investigation so it's really gonna start again Actually, I can't believe it one of us killed Ryoma <sighs> someone among us oh, again so no more going to no one investigate friends <laughs> no one and suspect friends then, then don't do it I'm not going to investigate either M Maki what huh? Because you'd be fine if you're short on a person I doubt a child caregiver would be much help. Hey, d what? No. Everyone can contribute. Oh, that's kind of sus. Maki. What the? Maki, come on. What? Get Becky. What? The, what? Uh. <sighs> I tried to stop her, but Maki didn't even turn around and kept walking. What was that? The F's her problem. She's seriously not going to investigate. Comprehensible. That seems rather irresponsible. Yeah. She likely assumed someone else would take care of it. And I suppose she isn't wrong. Y yeah, but why would she s say that now? She participated in Rantaro's investigation. What the? Although I suppose Maki has been acting strange lately. Yeah, she hasn't left her ultimate lab, dude. I've been told she spends all day in the lab. What is she doing in there? Hmm. I'll have to talk to Maki later. For now, we should start investigating. Seriously, ticked. We gotta do this, but... That's our only chance to survive. Right. I'll do my very best, too. <laughs> Gonta and I have to work especially hard so we can regain everyone's trust. You're right. Uh, yes, you're right. <laughs> but we don't even need to investigate. It's pretty obvious who the culprit is. Huh? Uh, what? He's going to say Angie. Right. We almost murdered during a certain little magical girl show, right? Yeah. So I think we need to be a little more suspicious of that little magical girl. <laughs> hey, but... Kokichi, shut up! She's so suspicious that it seems not suspicious. You lost me. What? Yeah. <laughs> right? But then again, she's made herself look so not suspicious. <gasps> 
So now she's super, super suspicious. Hey, <laughs> Shut up already. How dare you toy with Himiko's pure heart? You got me. Uh, you said Himiko, didn't you? But I never even mentioned her name. You gotta be kidding me. It, it, sh shut up. Himiko would never do something like that, and I totally do not suspect her. Don't even imply that. I mean, uh... I... I know her best. Right, Himiko? <laughs> no. No, no one really knows each other no. yet. This is the part where you agree with me? Come on, we're supposed to be at the item. Like, what? Anyway. Himiko, can you at least tell us the trick behind the underwater escape act. Because if we know how the trick works, we can try to figure out who the culprit has killed. The it's impossible. That's not possible. Huh? Well, not possible. Why the crud not? It's magic. There's no trick to the underwater escape. Because it was my magic. <laughs> how long is that donkey lipped magic? Gonna keep saying that. Hey, um, that's very mean. But then again, I've also been making fun of Kokichi this whole time. Maybe me and me weren't that different. No, we definitely are. Okay. Himiko, in order for us to find the culprit, it's plain to see we need your help. Why do I keep saying that? I... Cut it out. Yeah. My answer won't change. No matter what you say. Because I'm a maid. There's no trick to my magic, because it's magic, okay? Seriously? How long are you going to keep that bull crap up? All right, li listen. And we don't catch the culprit. We're... That's enough. If Himiko says it's magic, then it's magic. Okay, that's how facts work. Duh. I'll use my Neo Aikido to obliterate any degenerate male who bullies Himiko. And everyone else, actually. Duh. What? Yeah, yeah, I'm not bullying her. I'm it's her fault she's being so stubborn. Uh, mm. well, that's fine if you don't want to tell us. I'll just find out myself. But right. Actually, that sounds pretty fun. To solve this mystery. We must first learn the trick behind Himiko's underwater escape act. We must do it. We have no choice in the matter. But how the cr What if it is actually magic? Like, he's right. We have no choice. We have no choice but to find the culprit who killed Ryoma. The investigation is to save all our lives because we risk our lives in the class trial. Yeah. Investigation mode. Go. What's up with this? What's up, the black screen? That was weird. What the crud was that about? I guess it was a loading screen. Uh, anyway, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a second, Shoichi. Huh? Uh, yeah, what, what, what's up, bro? I mean... I always start the investigation. Something I gotta tell you. Right. You're my sidekick from now on. I was hoping you'd say that, dude. <laughs> yes! Huh? You're, you're my sidekick? What, what? Oh. You know... I'm more of a scientist kind of guy, so... Not really cut out for the investigations, you know? That's a good quality to have in an investigation. Yeah, forensics. It's literally a, like, what? Listen up. Well, it's the only stage fit for Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. As the universe, it's uh, okay, like, bro, I, I get you, but, like, what? Uh, <laughs> so I'll leave the details to you. Pave the path for my success while I go play Game Boy in the corner. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know what to do as a sidekick, though. Like, what? Uh, don't worry about it. Eh, don't worry. I'll make all the tough calls. You just gotta do what I say and stay there looking pretty. What? Uh, he loves to make decisions on his own, doesn't he? I guess. I mean, so, uh... Leave it to I'll me. take full responsibility. Since you're my sidekick, there's nothing to worry about. Huh? You're not... T this... A man is dead. Like, we can't... We're not 10, dude. We got it. We're 16 now. <laughs> we got to solve this murder. Like, got it. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, just, let's get started. <laughs> First, we got to check that thingy, the magic. Uh, okay. uh, the Monokufa. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh get that. Kaido makes me a sidekick like this. C could it be? Uh, I'm scared. I try hard, but I'm scared. Can't think about the pain and sadness that comes if I reveal the truth. Oh man, so Kaito's like trying to be like a shield kind of for Shuichi? I don't know. Or just He's trying to be a moral support beam or whatever. I have a way with words. Moral support beam or whatever. God, my similes are unmatched. Is he trying to help me? Yes, Shuichi! Hey, hey what's the matter? You uh, blue texting over there? Get out of none of that. Come on. Let's check them on Akuma file. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, yeah. It's Kaito. Hey, what I just say? Blue text! Get it off the screen! As Kaito behest, I looked over the Monokuma file. Okay. Whee! Victims Ryoma Hoshi, the ultimate tennis pro. Jesus. Body was discovered. He has handcuffs on. What the? 
Dude. This is freaking weird. God. The cause of death was drowning. His body was consumed by piranhas until only bones remained. Okay. No other injuries can be confirmed at this time. Weird. On, what? There's less in here than before. I've got bad news about this, sidekick. <sighs> the sign of death isn't written here. That's an issue. But because it's not there means it's part of the case. Remember. The previous Monokuma file indicated Rintaro's time of death, correct? Y yeah. If it actually happened right here. Alright, I know I'm like already like kind of one step ahead of this, but like... i kind of been through this before, okay? Because that piece is absent, his death clearly did not happen inside of the gym. You see what I'm saying? Because if that's not important, like we all saw it, like we... So we, someone killed him beforehand, you know? Yeah, maybe, I don't know. What? But the Monokuma file this time doesn't indicate a time of death. What? Yeah, the Mono that Monokuma messed up, I swear to God, I'm taking, wait till his, <laughs> wait till his mom hears about this. Does Monokuma have a mom? Oh yeah, he does. God, I hate her. And her, uh, anyway. No. That, this was intentional, dude. Monokuma told, us that we wouldn't give us any info that was that would reveal the culprit. But Thinking about it that way, it implies that the info would be uh pardon my French here, but darning evidence on the case. Shoichi, why don't you cuss? It's annoying and weird. I'll do it right now. Watch. And those are all the words you can't say on TV. Th thanks for that. Uh, oh God. Ah. So that means the key to this case is the time of death. Well it's a done. part of it. Hey, there you go. I picked a good sidekick. <laughs> my other chance was, or my other choice was that other tall guy, but he is creepy. Uh, there's more of this thing in the Monokuma file than catches my eye. The almost cause of death. It says drowning. If that's the case, the piranhas didn't actually kill him. You might be able to unreveal the case or, un or unravel the. Shut up. Yeah, I'm recording two episodes in a row. It's hard to talk right. for two hours. We'll make fun of him. Kaito. All right, all right, all right. Now that we got this done with the Monokuma file, we get started on the real investigation, the real one. My first command to my new sidekick is investigate everywhere and everything. Find clues or lead to the culprit. Uh, he's pretty commanding as expected. Bro, I was going to do that anyways. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Angie, please tell me you had nothing to do with this. I really want to like you. I just really do. And I want to like... Maybe you're just doing the whole, like, praise it to a thing because you're really scared, you know? And just that's how you were raised. Please tell me that's the case. Ugh. That's right. We need to ask Angie about the stage. Angie. Hey, I want to ask you some questions about the stage. I... Mm, yep. I was in charge of all the art. I even built and painted the stage. Well, it looks wonderful, but it was probably used as a piece for murder. So, then... do you know anything about Himiko's trick? How it... It worked, perhaps? No. Nope. Don't know the trick. Himiko only said it was magic. I suppose she didn't even tell Angie the secret either. Makes uh, sense. Um... By the way, you asked other people to help you with the preparations, right? Uh, yep. We started the prep work yesterday. Lots of people helped out. So a lot of people knew about this. But I sure didn't. Like when we were moving the heavy tank and the stairs from Himiko's research lab. Yeah. Man, Gabo did that. Take you out of bully, but... It was huge. Still a lot of work. Right, right. I asked Kotorumi to sew the curtains, because I hate sewing. Thanks. Basically. Wait, why, why does Samugi <laughs> do the sewing? She's like, that's literally her ultimate talent. What? So basically, I'm monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I love that joke. It's all thanks to Atua that the show was a success. Nah, it's because of literally everyone uh, here. Uh, <clears throat> was it really a success? A guy died. A guy I actually happen to really like, and I'm really mad. Uh, um, By the way, were the piranhas your idea? Because. Oh, on its own, the other water escape act is no different from a normal magic show. So I divine. thought it would make the show even more exciting and divine if we used piranhas. Atua has That's what Atua told me. Well, he can go die. Uh, so Atua gives you that kind of advice too, does he? Hmm. Um, About the piranha tank and the timer. Those were from Himiko's lab, correct? Of course, of yep, course. Yep, yep. 
According to the piranha tank's manual, it's synced up with the timer. When the piranha, when the timer goes off, the piranhas go off. When the timer goes off, the bottom of the piranha tank will open automatically. I see. That means that most of the equipment came from Himiko's lab. And then? Right when we finished the prep work, and we were about to take a break. Yeah. Gunta <laughs> captured us, so we couldn't rehearse at all. Jeez. When Gunta let us go, it was already nighttime, so we went to, to the gym. Okay. No. Oh, yeah, you can't enter the gym at nighttime. Yeah, yeah. So we decided to come to the gym today, before the morning announcement. Thank but were you the first people actually in the gym, though? Huh. Himoko and I were waiting for the gym to open. I was so relieved to see the set was intact. No one could have snuck into the gym before those two got there. We don't know that for certain, but from the sounds of it, they got up pretty much frame one. Fighting game joke. Not even a joke, just whatever. <gasps> What's up, Shuichi? <gasps> Are you worried because of this confusing incident? But, yes. But... Don't worry. It'll be fine. Huh? Uh, what? Atua has spoken. You have nothing to worry about, huh? Nothing? Girl, we got tons to worry about! What the- No, no. Nothing can escape Atua's sight. Not even the culprit. <laughs> Atua is truly a divine force to be reckoned with. Yeah, okay, I've heard that before, whatever. Angie's starting to sound more and more creepy. Yeah... I'm finally happy the game is acknowledging that. Uh, God, because that was- just saying. Jeez. Who? Okay. So everyone in the bug motel, I guess we're just going to refer to it as that right now, like, has an alibi. But for that, like, period of time. Because the, uh, the announcement actually went off. We don't know when we woke up, right? But we still know, like, around the time when Kokichi came back. Like... Someone said it was like 11 or something? I guess they had a really good sense of time. I'm pretty sure that was Samugi. How do you feel about this? If Himiko doesn't tell us how the trick works, we won't know how Ryoma was killed, right? But, but the way she is, how can we convince her? <gasps> what if? Ryoma was a firm, former apprentice of Himiko's master and vowed revenge on him. And he murdered a like -like, a lookalike of himself in order to sabotage the show. This is a reference to an anime or something. Yeah. So, <laughs> glad you agree. Or something like that. It's probably happened before, probably. You precious, precious child. Jeez. Okay, sinking. I don't know if that's what happened or not. But, uh, me, do you have an alibi? Hey. Hey. Phlegm what? What? There's something I need to tell ya. That's not a very polite way to ask someone for something. Maybe that's just how she tries to make friends. She's just like, hey, turd face. Like, I talk to my friends like that. I guess... She just doesn't understand. You can't start that way. You gotta ease into the jokes. Dunno. Maybe. Hello. It's got nothing to do with the incident, but I heard Gonta captured you guys last night. Sucks to suck. <laughs> Didn't happen to me. What the heck was all that about? I was running around, so I got no clue what happened. Got it. Oh, yeah. Tell me too. I was running, so I don't know what happened. How'd you get past him? Ugh. How did me escape from Gonta? She's not strong enough to fight. We don't know that. What? Why you? Ch chop, chop, you slimy turd. Uh, well, um, I suppose you could say that Gonta was tricked into kidnapping us. The first ones to get captured were Kibo, Kyo, Sumugi, Tenko, and I. Himiko and Angie were brought in later. Uh, from the gym, right? Okay. Exactly. And Kokichi left the room after around 9 p.m. Crap. So they must have been brought in about five minutes before that. If I remember correctly. Wait, no, Kokichi has an alibi. I was thinking, like, God, he could have killed... Wait, no, he lockpicked... Crud! If Ryoma was in his room, he could have picked the lock, killed him... Then had enough time to steal all of the pads? Even four hours, that's a stretch. I don't... What? I don't know. We were all forced to participate in Gonta's insect meet and greet. We were freed about an hour into nighttime, around 11 p.m. I see. So from night, no, it's, it's stinking. It's even less than that. Two hours. As much as I dislike Kokichi, I don't think you could kill a guy, steal all, like, everybody's stuff in that short a time. That's a stretch, dude. But maybe you never know. He is an ultimate. Everyone there had an alibi. 
And those people without an alibi are me, Karumi, Maki, and Ryoma. I see you learned what an alibi is. Thanks to the previous incident. What the F is this insect meet and greet? <laughs> Why? By the way, Miyu, uh, how were you able to get away from Gonta? What? Uh, uh, um... W well, uh, um... I had to use my secret woman weapon. And let's just leave it at that. Really, could you go into detail on what exactly this <laughs> secret woman weapon is? Let me see it. Huh? Uh, secret woman weapon. <laughs> I'm intrigued. What can I say? <laughs> Wait. What's a secret woman weapon? Uh. <laughs> She's so happy with herself, I guess. God. Is she trying to laugh it off? <laughs> I think so. I think she's really nervous. Come on, Come on Shoichi. Bullying women. Not cool. Interrogating them. <sighs> just leave her be. Listen to her or you just tire you out. You're right. Yeah, you're probably right. Perhaps it's better to get the truth out of her at the class trial. Yeah, I guess that's the only scenario we can get. Man, that's a cool one. <laughs> Looks like an album art. We are... Uh... Six people in a robot. That is so robophobic. We are not making that our album title. God. Anyway. <laughs> These two are just so... <laughs> they're so happy with themselves. So are you, Kokishi. What the crud you do? I'm glad Himiko made this game more difficult. Now I won't be nearly as bored. My voice hurts so god dang much. All right. Time to work hard to solve the mystery. <laughs> Can't even do that for a second. Get ready, culprit. Here I come. I kind of want to believe him, like, in his own kind of, like, crazy way. He is trying to, like, save everybody. Like, he's, he's obviously a villain, but, like, you know, here villains are the heroes of their own villain? Not, good God, dude. This is why you don't stay up till 3 a.m. recording, but I literally have to. Yeah. Anyway, Keo, what do you think about this? Sorry I clicked literally your crotch. I didn't mean that. Up. Uh, I never would have imagined such a cruel murder happening. That's such a fun show. Was it really that fun? I, I didn't like it. Why did the culprit commit such a barbaric act? Did they wish to see us panic? No. I don't think that was the sole motivation. There was some other reason for it. That reason must be related to Himiko's magic show somehow. So that means the culprit knew of Himiko's trick and made use of it, yes? That's true. Did Himiko tell someone? Someone who thinks the trick is actual magic? Well, then. Maybe, maybe they just... Well, no, maybe... Because people knew this was going on. People helped move the stage, move all the crap. Like, a lot of people knew what was going to happen. Since the show was used, we must investigate the trick as well. Yeah. Kyo murmured almost to himself and then walked back to the stage. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to investigate backstage? Um, eh. Let's follow him. We should investigate the entire area anyway. Followed Keo backstage. All right. Okay. I don't... There's an A... Wait, what the crud is this rope? What the dump? <laughs> I, I walk up this rope. Yep, that's a rope. Nothing peculiar about that. In fact, it's covered in water. Nope, nothing weird at all. It's a pretty long rope. What's it used for? Hmm. I estimate it's roughly 65 feet in length. Huh? You can, you can tell that just by looking at it? You can measure stuff by eye? But of course. No, just ropes. I love ropes. Okay. I'm well versed in them. <laughs> I once visited a village where their use was commonplace. <laughs> when it was time for me to leave, the woman of the village all begged me to stay. I find that deeply disturbing. Okay, but I have to focus on the investigation. God. Anyway, what is this rope? Because we're really the case. It's gotta be, dude. Look at it. It's a rope. It's so fishy. Probably related to the fish. It's a very long rope. Kyo said it was 65 feet. Anyway, this. Uh, oh, wow, well, that's actually not a truth bullet. The crud. What do you think about it, Kaito? Yeah. I tell you what, Watson. That's a rope. If I ever done seen one. Not a snake. Thought it was a snake. Uh uh. R O P. Can't deny that. Something there? Let's just say. I think this guy out to be so stupid. <laughs> Let's decide that after we search it. Investigate anything that stands out. I, I investigated the rope. I don't. What, what do you want me to do? Like, uh, do I have to look up? Uh, nothing up there? Okay. Oh, wait. I have literally laser vision that lets me see everything. All right. Yeah, the stage. What's up with that? 
The staircase goes up to the top of the stage. At first glance, there's nothing peculiar or particularly suspicious about it. There might be some kind of trick to it, but only a magician would know. Mm, but there's like the pool of water. Yeah, the, the puddle right next to it. The crud's up with that. Why is that there? Shouldn't it be mostly dry? There's a puddle behind the staircase. This isn't a puddle from when we broke the tank. The floor around it is completely dry. Perhaps someone who was wet was here doing something? That's true. Changing wet clothes. But, but how would you get from the water tank to this separate space behind the staircase? Because it has like hinges. Mean? Look at it, dude. That's like an exit somehow. Wait, no, that then it would be flooded with water. I don't freaking... That may be a vital clue for understanding how the underwater escape trick. Dude, there's hinges. Like, am I stupid or something? Like, that's that's a part of it. Look, look, look at this. Oh my god. Okay, whatever. Stinking. Wait, there's more to investigate. How? What the crud? Um, I guess the large water tank. Maybe. Uh, nothing strange about it from behind. Other than the large size, it's a normal tank. I see. All sides of the tank seem to be made of special type of glass. I see no hidden doors. <laughs> Very mysterious. Now I wonder, did Himiko escape from the tank? That's right. Oh, uh, we figure it out easily. You want to be a magic trick, huh? However, I believe that we figure out the route Himiko took. He will discover how Ryoma got in there. That's true. There's a high probability that they used the same route to reveal how Ryoma got into the tank. I need to reveal how Himiko managed to get out of it. That, it, it's gotta be the, it's gotta be that thing, right? I don't, bro, I'm, this is gonna be one of those. I also like, man, this is, yet again, my ultimate high school level talent, oversharing, but one time at a visit to Universal Studios, I swear to God, all my like childhood trauma spawns from that God forsaken place. At the hotel we were staying, it was a really fancy hotel, and my family's dirt poor, so that's why I really remember it. It was really weird. I think we snuck in. Whatever. Doesn't matter. There's a magic show going on, and my mom volunteered for this thing, right? And my mom put her hand through this, like, contraption. I'll try and find a video of it if I can, if I can't, I don't know, like, or a picture. And it's supposed to, like, cut all of the carrots, but not your hand. And the whole time, like, there's this giant blade, too. I was stinking terrified. I was like, no, I don't want anything to happen to my mom. I was, like, so, like, I was peeing my pants. Not literally, because I'd be stinking loser. I, what am I, a baby? I was, like, a baby at the time. But it doesn't matter. And, like, obviously, my mom's ham didn't get, you know, chopped off. But, God, it just, I never looked at magic the, the same. And it really bugged me. God. Anyway, uh, what, what are we doing here again? Christ, if I know. <laughs> um... I've investigated just about everything to do with the stage. What? I, I literally doubled up. What? Still don't know how the trick was performed. Hey, so hey I'm going to investigate here. I'm getting bored. So I got to find the culprit, you know? Come on. Let's go. Uh, right away, boss. Uh, hey, wait. Uh, God dang it. This one's going to be tricky, yo. What can I say? God dang it. But, uh, <laughs> why do I have to be Ryoma, dude? I thought he was going to have, like, an arc, man. I guess we'll never... Whatever. Anyways, guys, in the next episode of Dong and Rampa V3, figure out at least partly how this happened. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Great outro. I know, right? One of my best. Uh, but no. Next time, we team up with Kaito to figure out who the crud killed Ryoma. See you guys then. Bye.